Hi and welcome to City Beat. I'm your host, Beej, Recreation Coordinator with Lewiston Parks and Recreation. And today we have Public Works Director Chris Davies. Hey Chris, how hey, are you? Hey Beej, doing good. How are you today? Good. So we're going to ask a bunch of questions. First one is, what what is Public Works? Well, Beej, Public Works is one of the largest departments in the city of Lewiston. We have approximately 70 employees within the department and it's made up of several divisions. Um, there's engineering, streets, water, wastewater, and sanitation. So it's, it's huge. It's huge. It, it we do a lot of things. Yeah, a ton. Um, it's, we're, gonna, we're going into our fall and winter months. Uh, yes. What are some main focuses for uh, you and what are some challenges for Public Works? Well, typically when we start in the fall and winter, our first really big challenge is leaves. Um, things start to fall, they start to plug up our storm systems, so that's one of our key things from a street department standpoint is to get those leaves cleaned up and where people can help is if it's raining and they know where a catch basin is and they can take the leaves off, that's going to help us a lot instead of having our crews go out. But that's our main focus at this point in time of the year is to get all those leaves out um, and off the road before the heavy rains come or before snow falls. How, and how, what's that window really of leave removal? Uh, it's probably about now till about the end of November is typically about the time we, we do all that. Cool. So. Um, s sanitation wise, what, what are some things you have to worry about? Well, some of the things that we worry about in sanitation are, uh, right now we're going to winter yard waste pickup. Okay, so instead of it being picked up on a month or on a weekly basis, we're going to be going to a monthly basis. So it'll be the, during the first seven days of each month through, um, let's see, that is from November 1st uh, through, uh, I'm sorry, it's from December through March. And then after that, it goes back to weekly. Um, the other thing that's uh, big that I want to really mention, though it's not starting until January, is we're going to be going to single stream. Um, currently right now, you know, we have the blue bins that go out and people have anywhere from one to four and they kind of separate them, you know, glass, paper, or whatever. Uh, but in January, we're going to be going to single stream, so we'll, uh, SDI will be delivering carts. Uh, they'll be basically big blue carts, garbage carts, but they'll be for recycling and those will go out in January. Uh, first pickup for those will be in uh, February and it you know it's something that the city's worked on and city council's worked on I think it's going to be a benefit to the city and just kind of you'll be hearing more about it through education at the county fair but that's where we're headed with recycling and sanitation what are is there going to be are there restrictions to what you can and can't recycle like the blue bins right now um, basically, you're going to see a lot more that you can recycle, like all the plastics you can recycle, um, tin, aluminum, uh, cardboard, all the paper. The things that you won't be able to recycle are glass, so you won't be able to recycle glass like you currently can, uh, but there'll be drop-off places throughout the city, and once we have those, the SDI has those in under contract, uh, we'll, that information will be provided. But the other is you can also still take it to the transfer station. Um, you know, hazardous waste that you can't, you know, normally we wouldn't recycle anyway. So those typical things, but, um, you know, plastics, you know, the numbers one through seven, all the cardboard, all your junk mail, magazines, all that just goes into one bin. You don't have to sort it. Gets picked up every two weeks and you're done with it. A little like, I think it's a lot easier. Does Sunshine give you uh, an amount of tonnage as far as recycle stuff being recycled in the valley or in Lewiston uh, per year? Do they give you those Yeah, numbers? last year, actually we've been fairly steady. We're around 600 tons a year. It hasn't really gone up or down. They're thinking that where they've done this program before that it'll double. So up to uh, 1,200 pounds. Up to 1,200, it's 1,200 tons. Or 12 uh, right. tons. Right. So we're hoping that we'll we'll see that in in the city. It'll just it what that'll do then is save you know our transfer costs to a Soton County landfill. It'll save landfill space. It'll be a benefit to the whole community as a whole, and it'll make the landfill last a lot longer for for the region. So it'll be a true benefit, I think. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, can you talk uh, about water? Water, yes. Uh, you know. It, 
city of Lewiston is somewhat unique. Uh, we have two water districts. You know, there's the city of Lewiston's water system, and then we also have Lloyd. And Lloyd is basically, you know, provides water and irrigation, and they're basically located uh, south of Stewart. Um, but, you know, we have our system here. We serve about half of the community. We provide water and irrigation, too. Um, you know, we're, um, we're doing, I, I guess the big thing that's coming up in water that we're working with on city council is hopefully going to automatic uh, uh, meter reads and also going to monthly billings. Uh, as you know, the city of Lewiston is working through uh, new software for finance and all the other things that we're doing. And one of those modules is to go to um, monthly billing. Currently, the city, uh, on your water bill, you get every three months. Um, sometimes that becomes an issue because you get large bills during the summertime because you're irrigating your water or your lawns. And what we're trying to do is kind of spread that out so that you aren't shocked all of a sudden you get this $600 bill or, you know, if you had a water leak, if your bill, not, you know, comes in December and you had a water leak, you know, two months before and you didn't know about it, these types of things I think will be a benefit to all, uh, to the citizens so that, um, you know, you'll have a more uh, even way of paying and stuff. So we think it's going to be a true benefit. We, we're looking to implement it in July. You know, we're going through some processes now looking at the software and, and the changeover from what we're doing. So I think it'll be, really be a good thing for the citizens. Cool. So that's something to look for in, in July. In July is our, right now is our tentative kickoff date cool. for that. Um, so we could segue right into from water to wastewater. Water. Yeah. Right. Um, you know, wastewater, again, you know, City of Lewis is somewhat unique. We actually have three sanitary sewer districts, uh, one water or wastewater plant. We have the city, we have LOSD and COSD. So there's really three districts within the city um, that deal with the collection of wastewater. Um, probably, you know, big thing about wastewater, you know, it, we're living in a society where there's a lot of throwaway things, you know, disposable this, disposable that. What I'd say is, you know, be cautious what you throw down the toilet because we're, we end up having to take care of it at the wastewater plant. and. You know, we try to use kind of like the, I, I know this doesn't sound good, but the three P's, you know, pee, poop, and paper is really what should go down the toilet. So other than that, that's, you know, you should either throw it in the garbage can or whatever you would normally do with it. What, what can, if, if it's not one of the three <laughs> P's, what, what is potentially the hazardous? Well, I mean, what could happen at the wastewater plant? Could it shut it down if, if something is... Well, it could it probably not but what tends to happen is all of our system i mean the majority of our population is on the south side of the river so basically all of our wastewater goes to a pumping system that then pumps across the river into our plant so if we get a a large influx of you know whatever rags i mean we get all sorts of things in our system it can plug up the pumps and yes eventually it could plug the system up and not shut down the wastewater plant, but it would end up backing up the main pumping system. Which is no bueno. No, no, no. You don't want to do that. That's, that's something you don't want to do. Um, uh, another uh, part of uh, Public Works is engineering. Can you talk uh, about engineering in a broad, broad spectrum? Sure. You know, engineering is uh, housed um, in downtown, and we basically have two divisions within engineering. One is that does our capital projects, and the other does uh, development review and GIS. Um, capital projects, our, our staff works with, um, are with our water, wastewater, and street crews. You know, and we look at, you know, any improvements that we can do to any of those systems. And on smaller projects, typically we do the design work and the construction inspection for those on that side. On the other side of development review, when private development comes into the city, like when SEL came in or any small development that comes in and has something to do with improvements to our system, whether it's, you know, adding a water line or adding a sewer line or adding sidewalk, anything that basically is within the public right-of-way or attaches to our public system, they get involved with to make sure that those improvements meet our current standards and then we inspect them and um, do those types of things within. Right now, 
there's a, obviously the big project downtown, fifth, uh, first through Fifth Street rebuild. Yes. Can you talk a little bit about your department's role in that, which is a big role um, with streets and sanitation and water and wastewater and engineering? Right. Actually, you know, that project is funded by the Urban Renewal Agency. Um, what we're doing from our viewpoint from Public Works is we have some inspectors there. We, we look at it from our, the water side, the engineering side, to make sure that what's being done by the contractor meets our standards so that when they're all done and the city is ready to take it over, then, it, then it's ready to go and we're willing to accept it. Um, it is a great project. Um, you know, some of the other things that are coming up in the future for engineering is the FEMA project. Uh, we have what we call FEMA 1 and FEMA 2, and those projects will probably happen uh, starting next year, at least FEMA 1 will, where we'll be basically design, uh, constructing new improvements in the downtown area for, for stormwater. Um, but probably the other big one is the Snake River uh, Southway Roundabout. Mm. That project is uh, looking to be starting in construction next uh, spring. So those are probably two big projects that we have coming up. Now, those weren't all necessarily designed by us, but we'll be overseeing the construction and on those. Cool. So obviously, this is, you you oversee a you know a big portion of the city. What is your favorite part about being uh, a part of public works? You know, that's, that's a tough question. You know, you get involved with, in public works, you get involved with a lot of things. I mean, we deal with, you know, all, basically all the departments within the city. You know, we deal with Parks and Rec. We work with community development. We work with the fire department. We work with the police department. I mean, we're, we're pretty much involved with everyone. We're kind of in the background, and nobody really knows a lot of time what, we're, what we do and how we do things unless something goes wrong. But I, I enjoy it from the standpoint that I think we're providing a service to all the citizens, and we try to do it with, you know, the, the best job we can with the resources we have and the least cost to the citizens. I, I enjoy working with, with citizens and trying to solve their issues and concerns that, that we deal with. You know, a lot of them are, you know, we can't solve everything, but we do our best to help people along. Um, so I enjoy dealing with people and, and working with them. And how important is it for you, for people to be proactive in, like you talked about earlier, if, if somebody sees leaves on a uh, drain, just to go move those off so there's no flooding in the street or right. stuff like that. You know, that, that, you know, I think times are changing. I mean, you'll, I think that's just a lot to do with the economy. Uh, I think people are becoming more aware of what government does and what we don't do. And people want to know what they're spending their money on, mm -hmm. you know, their taxes and, and what, you know, their rates are paying for in water and wastewater. But we also, you know, in, in leaning the government, I guess, is where we're kind of headed, which is great. I, I think we need to be accountable to the public on all the dollars we spend. But it also, I, we also rely on the public. Like if there's a pothole out there, call us. We're there. I mean, you know, we want to fix it too because it, the longer that pothole sits there, the bigger it gets and the more expensive it gets to fix. If there's a street sign down, you know, let us know. We're, we're there to, you know, to go out there and fix it. If there's leaves that need to be picked up, let us know. We're, you know, you're just another set of eyes out there. The public is there to, that sees things that they can call in and we'll take care of them. We can't be everywhere all at once. I mean, there's a lot of things that we take care of. So we, I, I appreciate those calls. So those help us take care of the system we need to maintain. Cool. So in closing, uh, can you give our viewers some information about how to find Public Works information, how to contact you, um, and even how you guys are on and utilizing social media? Sure. Um, our website is www.cityoflewiston.org. Um, and we're also, our phone number is 208 746 1316, extension 0. Um, and, and give us a call. Um, we're there to help. The, uh, we're also on Facebook. Um, you know, something new this year. We're trying to we're trying it out. See what happens. Um, like last year during the winter storm, it helped. Um, when you know road closes 
closed down for an emergency or whatever, we try to get that information out on Facebook. So we're just trying this new media and seeing how it works and what kind of response we get. Um, so far, it's been positive. I think that um, people appreciate you know knowing what's going on, and we're trying to get that information out to people. And you know we're becoming that informational age, and everybody wants things instantaneously, and we're trying to accommodate that and be you know a positive force out, out in the community forum. Absolutely. So, Chris, thank you so much for hanging out and spending some time here on City Beat. Uh, uh, if there's anything else you got in closing? No, I, you know, like I said, if you have questions or concerns about anything that's in the public right of way or has to do with water or wastewater, give us a call. We'll see what we can do to help you. And it was great talking to you and love to come back someday. Cool. Thanks, Chris. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right. On behalf of everyone here, we will see you next time on City Beat.